All right, so it's pretty warm in the tent at the moment, so I, I open it up a bit. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a quick little nap, or I'm gonna try to, because I, I only have like three hours worth of sleep. And um, I'll try to wake back up at 3 p.m. so I can start working on, you know, cooking the dish for today. So it's gonna be a whole vibe. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys. Yeah, you guys can see already. The sun is definitely kissing my skin. The melanin is popping all the way through. All right, let's jump in this water. Water looks nice. Looks kind of warm. Let's do it. I'm here <laughs> um, but what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna go start stocking up on some fire timber because we want to do some uh, cooking so I don't want to be searching for that so let's go do that right now so I'm trying to find some big ones where I know it will last very long and that I can maybe cook at least uh, two or three meals on oh, these rocks feel so therapeutic Warm and nice. My favorite part about the beach is that there's usually a lot of timber that washes up. These feel very light though. And these are gonna burn out really quick. But you take what you can get, yeah? This is a nice, it's a nice big one. Okay. I know for a fact that I already have enough to cook my first meal, but let's try to get enough to cook two meals. Eh? As I said, these, these are very light. There's some weight to them, but definitely light nonetheless. Yeah, after getting all the timber, the fire sticks or whatever yeah i'm trying to reuse this bottle to have some water oh no i'm wasting water man uh so just to give you guys an idea what's in my tote i just put the bread in there found a the toilet paper this is a must um and i have seasonings stuff like this um this is for making the the bread pudding get some milk 
Um, oh, this is for tonight's dinner. It's gonna be coconut rum. You guys are gonna be excited about that one. So yeah, just a couple of stuff. Yeah, I have a couple of snacks. Oh, the snack bag here. You know, nights where I need to pick myself up. For example, I have some Snickers here. You guys know Snickers gives you a sugar rush. So especially being out on the water with that salt water. Ugh. Yeah, so these can help me throughout the night, basically. And uh, some other, some other Nick snacks. Basically, now I said it were basically a lot. But anyway, I also will have uh, seasoning in there and a couple utensil stuff. I'll take this out because not that I'm gonna use it right now, but <laughs> well, no pun intended, but but um, I'm gonna put it up in my tent with the other toiletries. All right, here we have this beautiful lobster cracked open and ready to go. I'm just gonna wash it off a bit. Really nice lobster we're gonna cook up today. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Woo! <laughs> we're gonna make a really, 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 really good meal. All right, let's do it. Alright, so basically how I plan to cook this is just to make a slight little pit. Put some rocks around. We have our grill, we're gonna grill it on it. Really quick, simple. Not many ingredients at all. With lobster you don't need many ingredients to actually make it taste good. Alright, so my setup is nowhere perfect at the moment, but I'ma make it work. First, to be honest right now, I am getting too hungry to even concentrate. I'm so hungry. So hungry, so tired. I did say I wanted to take a nap. Honestly, that didn't quite work out. I tried. Alright, so I definitely don't want to exaggerate, but I haven't had meat at least in the past 24 hours. Yeah, because I've been here from 11 o'clock. So over 24 hours I haven't had meat. And I am trying to knock nobody, but I can literally feel my brain getting slower. Like I'm a little bit edgy, like I kind of want to for this thing to hurry up and be done because I haven't had meat. so. I definitely need to eat. That's a fact. I really, really need to eat something right now. So I just can't wait for this to be done. It's been a while since I've actually lit a fire and get everything started. Uh, the, the the pieces of board are a little bit wet, so that's kind of a little issue. But it's get coming along right now, so yeah, I should be alright. But I can't wait to eat this damn lobster. I ain't gonna lie. Alright, so fire is going good right now. Sea potato is down there with the Irish potato. I think that should be a good method right now to get them roasted and thing and thing. So as soon as that is like halfway through, I basically throw the lobster on. Lobster don't take long to cook, so we should be all right. up really quick first we have some lime juice and fresh water some lime juice and fresh water clean the meat a little bit and the season is we're going really simple all these what do you call these things little flies trying to get my food but anyway the seasoning is simple we just have here some this is dash herb seasoning and we have some salt and black pepper all 
I'm just gonna add it to the coconut oil. Of course, you can always add more seasoning while it's being cooked. That's no problem. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it face down first and then I am going to season the outer shell. I mean, it's kind of crazy, but I just always do it. Yo, this lobster is so big, it can hardly fit on the cutting board. Wow. So those coals are basically nice and hot. And sweet potato and the potato should be done now. Let me take that out. And then I'll just set something up where I can set the grill on to. Like I said, we're going face down with this. Yeah, you never want to overcook a lobster. You guys can see sliding off. <laughs> That's because I put some coconut oil on the back and some salt. I just like knowing that if I want to chew on the shell, I can. It's kind of crazy, but that's just me. Alright, so for the final thing, what I'm going to do... I'm just going to add some butter. my butter melted and I have some coconut rum here add some coconut rum be careful with this because it's rum And a few parsley flakes. That should be it. All right, so let's dig into this meal. Let me be honest, man. I am so tired, I'm so hungry that I just wanted this to be done and over with, to be honest, man. Woo. First of all, this is a big, juicy lobster. I can tell you that much. Mm. 
I just threw the sweet potatoes in here and some Irish potatoes. Very rustic with some butter. I'm hungry. I'm just so happy to be eating. Oh, so happy. Alright guys, so that completed having a really good meal, but let me tell you man, today was very difficult, a very difficult day for me, um, first full day, you know, you guys might have watched all the videos from doing the back and forth, trekking, taking down the boat, bringing over all the stuff, and then finally having a meal today in the late evening, I've been here over 24 hours now, and um, yeah, haven't taken a shower, I'm going to take a shower right now, um, try to find a river close by and um yeah take a quick shower rest up because i haven't even slept either i've probably gotten like two and a half hours of sleep tried napping some part in the video i really didn't nap to be quite honest but um yeah another part of the adventure i'll catch you guys tomorrow in another video if you do like videos like these drop a like on the video i appreciate it or send me a comment let me know what you think remember three things love nature adaptation and always remember keep a link